When it comes to the smart home and smart security cameras, we've got a few different options. We've got Matter compatible devices, Matter being the standard that's supposed to bring all the different smart home platforms together. And then we have the platforms themselves. We have Apple Home, we have Google Home, and we have Lady A from Amazon. And there's others out there, but those are the major ones. Now, unfortunately, when it comes to those options, Matter isn't quite there yet. We just don't have all the options that we want and security cameras are not part of Matter. And then when it comes to Google, Apple, and Lady A from Amazon, unfortunately, Apple Home, which is my favorite, has the least amount of devices compatible. Well, today, we're talking about a cheap and easy fix for that. Let's get started. What up everybody, George Langebeer here. Today we're talking about different smart home devices and smart security cameras and their compatibility with the smart home. Specifically for me, we're talking about Apple Home because that's my favorite. You've got Matter, which is the new standard for the smart home. It's supposed to bring all these different platforms together. The problem is it's still growing and it's missing certain categories like security cameras, which I'm all about security. So that's a problem for me. Then you've got Apple Home, you've got Google Home, you've got Lady A from Amazon, and yes, there are others, but for the sake of this video, I'm talking about the major ones because that's what I just mentioned. Now, when it comes to Apple Home, they get left out a lot. Everything seems to be compatible with Google Home. Everything seems to be compatible with Lady A from Amazon. And yes, there are compatible devices for Apple Home, but not nearly as many as the others. So I'm always looking for a different way to get these non-compatible devices in Apple Home. And there are different options out there like HomeBridge and Scripted and Home Assistant. And some of those are more advanced and more expensive. So then I found this guy in 2019, the Starling Home Hub. This is $129. There's an affiliate link in the description if you're interested. But man, this thing was a big deal for me. Now at the beginning, this just did Nest devices. Nest had the thermostat, smoke detector, some cameras, and this allowed you to get those devices into Apple Home when normally you couldn't. Then when Google bought Nest and became Google Nest, then you could get Google Nest devices into Apple Home with this little guy right here. And that was awesome. But here recently, the awesome people at the Starling Home Hub have expanded that and this now gets all or at least most of works with Google devices in Apple Home. And that just made this thing a huge deal for $129. So just think of all the different devices that are normally just compatible with Google Home and by default, Lady A from Amazon. Now with this little guy, you can get them in Apple Home and it's so easy. So let's talk about setting this up. All right, first let's talk about installation. So this comes with a power supply, it's micro USB. You're gonna plug that in here, then plug it into your outlet. Then you've got an ethernet port. You're gonna plug an ethernet cord from this straight to your router. That's gonna put this on your network. Then you're gonna get the Starling app. It's gonna find your Starling home hub. Very simple, all this takes under five minutes. Once it's found it, then you can just sign in using your Google account. It prompts you to do so. And then you just add your devices to Google Home and then the Starling will find those devices and automatically have them ready to be added to Apple Home. Then there is a Home Kit or an Apple Home code on this. You scan it, that puts the Starling Home Hub in Apple Home and then it'll automatically populate all those different devices right into Apple Home. And then you just select your room and, and all that good stuff just like you would any other device in Apple Home and bam, you're done. Again, under five minutes, so easy, so awesome. All right, now I'm gonna show you a real life example and I'm gonna use Reolink as that example. Reolink makes security cameras, but none of their cameras are compatible with Apple Home or HomeKit Secure Video. So I thought this would be a cool way to see if I could get some Reolink cameras in Apple Home, nice and simple, nice and cheap. And sure enough, it works. So what you do is you go to the Google Home app, because that's where you're gonna start. You can go to the works with Google section and add Reolink as a brand. Then it's gonna populate their cameras and then you're gonna go in the Google Home app and you can name them. You can put them in whatever room you want in the Google Home app. I don't even worry about that because I'm worried about the Apple Home app. 
All right, if you have your Starling in Apple Home, which I showed you how to do that, then those cameras will automatically populate in Apple Home as well. And then you can name them an Apple Home and you can put them in whatever room in Apple Home. So I created a storage unit room because this camera is at my storage unit a mile away. I'm using the TrackMix LTE camera from Reolink, meaning it doesn't need Wi-Fi. It can work on cellular, which is awesome because you can pretty much put it anywhere. I've got some stuff I want to watch in that storage unit and now I can do it with that camera. But I was curious since that camera's not on my network because it's a mile away, if it would still work with the Starling in Apple Home, and sure enough, it does. So now with my wall-mounted iPads and my regular iPad and my phone and my Mac, I can see my storage unit and that's fantastic. Now, I'm using this Reolink camera as an example and that makes me want to tell you one caveat to this. When you're talking about the works with Google devices and the Starling Home Hub, most of the functions work 100% and that's awesome. But when you're talking about cameras that are non Google Nest cameras, you can't use Apple's HomeKit secure video. You can just make them HomeKit cameras. And I know that's confusing, but basically it just means that you can't record an Apple Home with these cameras, but you can see them live and you know, still a lot of cool functions. You just basically can't record. So you're recording in the Reolink app, and that's what you're doing here. Now, if it's a Google Nest camera, everything works. You can use it with HomeKit Secure Video, and that's where this gets a little confusing. But if it's a non-Google Nest camera, you're just gonna be able to see it live and use the basic functions, just like a normal HomeKit camera with no HomeKit Secure Video. So really, that's the only caveat with the Starling Home Hub, because everything else and all the other devices that aren't cameras works great. I just wanted to show you an example of a security camera because that's my deal. I'm a security guy. But there you go. That's using the Starling Home Hub and getting different devices that work with Google in Apple Home. It's pretty freaking simple. Under five minutes, you can have this going. For $129, you can have this going. Simple and cheap, and I love it. Starling has been doing a great job since 2019. They're always trying to advance. You know, I'm sure they're worried with matter as matter slowly takes over being irrelevant, but I don't think that's the case because Starling's always going to stay ahead of the game. They're awesome at doing that with this little device that just costs so little. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Are you a person that uses a different device to get their non Apple home devices in Apple home? Let me know what you're using, what you like about it, what you don't like about it. Would you consider trying the Starling home hub again? the affiliate links in the description if you want one. All right, I appreciate your support very much. Thank you for being here. Until the next video, peace and love my friends.